Hi Foundation, hi Key Stage 1, hope you're all well. What I'd like you to do for this video is I'd like you to get to a magic score of 10 on each activity. And if you can't quite manage that score, work for five minutes to improve your skills. And at the end of the five minutes, see what a big score you can get. Have fun, work hard, and I hope you enjoy the video. Throw and catch the large ball 10 times to warm up. Then, can you do it while walking about? Final round, can you do it while jogging? 10 times. Swapped out the large ball for a smaller one, so we're going to work today on throwing and catching a smaller ball to start off with. You've got to throw this ball in the air 10 times in front of your face and catch the ball without dropping it. Get ready. If you drop the ball, I'd like you to have another go at this. Remember, feet shoulder width apart, knees slightly bent, ball thrown up just in front of your face, hands ready to catch the ball as it lands. 10 times, once you catch the ball 10 times without dropping the ball, you can then move on to the next activity. Off you go. To make it more challenging, remember those teaching points that promote good balance okay, and a nice steady chance to catch that ball. This time what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to do 10 catches, but each time you clap your hands in between. This needs fast thinking and quick reactions. So as you throw the ball up, don't wait to clap your hands because you'll drop the ball. What you need to do is throw the ball up, straight the way, clap your hands, your hands fall in to that nice ball shape, ready to catch the ball. Get ready, three, two, one. See how long it takes you to do 10 catches of the ball while clapping your hands. Three more challenges now. What I'd like to do is I'd like to first of all start off by throwing and catching that ball 10 times while walking about. Throwing up in the air, keeping your eye on the ball 10 times. And once you get to 10 without dropping that ball, what I'd like to do is I'd like to start clapping your hands before you catch. If you drop the ball, remember 10 is that magic number today. We need to get to 10. And then what we're going to do is we're going to start jogging and catching. to aim for the ten, and there is your throwing and catching challenges. Setting up this activity now, I'm in school so I'm using cones, either at home you can use baked bean tins, toilet bowl tubes or shoes. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to set out now from my middle spot, take one two giant steps, back to my spot, one, two giant steps, back to my spot, and do the same thing backwards. Now, I've also got two balls, and to help you even further, okay, I've got the yellow cones at the front, so the yellow ball is going on to the yellow cones, and I've got the red ball for the red cones, 
at the back. Once you've set this up, okay, play the video again and see how we take part in this challenge. If you've not got two smaller balls available, you can also use two rolled up pairs of socks or you can get two pieces of paper, scrunch them up, if it helps, colour them in so that you know, okay, which ball goes on to which station. Right then, on with the activity. This is what you've got to do, demonstration time. You can start in the middle, job on the spot, you've then got to move one ball to come up, turn, get the other ball back, then move across, straight down the line, back, round the cone if you want to, and see how many times you can do this in a minute. Every time you put a ball, a roll of pair of socks, a piece of paper, onto a cone, a shoe, a very bean tin, a toilet roll tube, you will score one point. Ready, set, go. Okay, I've just watched my tent back. I scored 17, just ran out of time on this last one here. There was a little bit of dodgy counting in the middle, lost my way a little bit, took up a couple of points. Okay, but that's because I was working so hard. Have three goes at this activity. How many are you going to score? Okay, three attempts. Try and build a personal best. If you're not happy with your score after the third attempt, reset and keep trying until you are happy with the score that you manage to achieve. Minimum of three goes, okay, but keep working, keep building on that personal best. Using the square that you've already set up and making sure that you're working within a soft padded space, what we're now going to do, we're going to put together a gymnastic sequence. So all you need to do to start off with is you need to number your four cones. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four. You've then got to run around cone number one. When you come back to the middle, all you're going to do is you're going to choose a gymnastics balance. So, a couple of ideas, it might be a front support of five seconds, it might be an arabesque, or you might have your own ideas. So, number one is a gymnastics balance, getting ourselves ready, jogging on the spot, off we go. One, two, three, four, five. Cone number two, you're going to run around it, come back, and you're going to do a jump. So it might be you do a straight kick and land. It might be that you do a star jump and land. It could even be that you do a tuck jump. So choose the jump you're going to do, 
two. Okay, get yourself ready. Three, two, one. I'm going to do a straight jump. Okay, number three and four, we're going to do a tuck roll. So, you get to choose your balance, choose your jump. We're going to do a tuck roll at okay, count three and four. So, very, very quickly, you need to go into a T shape on your knees. You need to tuck up into a ball, roll onto your back, roll onto your knees, and up into that perfect T shape. Okay, so everybody watch. This is how we're going to do it. We're going to run round cone number three into our T shape. We're then going to suck up, roll, and up. We're then going to run around cone number four and then go back the other way. We're going to put this all together, okay? So we're going to go one, two, three, four, get yourself ready. One is balance. Hold it for five seconds. Two is a jump. Tuck jump. Three is the roll. Four is the mirror image. Once you've completed your sequence, how can you mix it up? How can you change it? How can you add in more difficult challenges? What can you do to improve your sequence?